Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. Do you like that? Do you like how I'm trying to be a YouTuber now? So, um, <laughs> we're gonna be talking about Love is Blind. We're mainly gonna be talking about uh, Deep D and Shake's whole thing. So as many times as I have said that I'm not doing these videos to make money, I'm not doing these videos to become a YouTuber, I low-key do kind of want to be a youtuber um, I want to have some some stream of income outside of what I'm currently doing just in case you know just just in case so I'm gonna attempt my very best to give you guys some more frequent content some more consistency you know what I mean I have a lot to say particularly to myself, so I might as well just say it to camera and see who else agrees and who else wants to add on to the conversation. I do want to put this video out before the heat dies down because like I said, I am trying to get some attention on to this channel, so if you could like the video, comment, uh, why is my voice cracking so much? If you could like the video, comment down below. Um, subscribe if you feel like you want to continue to have random conversations about things that I watch, things that I am just thinking about in the moment. Um, I feel like we can make a really cool like little community here. So yeah. So first of all, we are talking mainly about Love is Blind. The relationship between Deep D and Abhishek or Sheikh. So my two main thought points that kind of resulted in like some conjectures that I have were Deep D was presented as a very self-confident, caring, like supportive woman. From day one, Sheikh had specific questions prepared for these women to get some insight into their looks as opposed to their personalities. And I did not expect him to, to actually get a yes from Deep D um, because of that and because of the way that she was presented. But I think that was kind of everyone's big shocker was that she said yes and that's obviously why they ended up staying um, part of the cast that was followed at the end uh so yeah but i'm just gonna like be kind of reading off and then like kind of looking at you guys uh just so this video isn't too long that's another reason why i wanted to type this out because i feel like i ramble on a lot i've probably already done so i have also had a lot of voice cracks and you guys are just gonna have to get used to that because i probably won't edit most of them out <laughs> so um when deep d did accept shake's proposal i was so scared for her because i thought this was going to be another situation of i can fix him and that was like so that was my main concern that was like my first like oh <laughs> but why and then later when I tried to think why did I feel that concern for her when she said yes to his proposal I realized because it was because I imagined it being one of those I can fix him situations in which case I feel like if she had been any other woman she probably would have changed a lot about herself to mm -hmm. rather than fix him match herself to his to his wants um because i feel like that's usually where those types of relationships end up going from what i've seen um <laughs> and what i've heard so yeah, I was like initially just like, oh my gosh, I hope that's not the storyline that we're going for here. Uh, but I would hope that the one thing other women get from their actual storyline, because that's not what ended up happening, their relationship did not fail because she couldn't fix him. Their relationship did not fail because she wasn't strong enough. Their relationship did not fail because he is an asshole. That is not why their relationship failed, okay? 
in conclusion, their relationship did not fail. It simply didn't continue, is the way that I choose to see relationships <laughs> relationships in general. And I know it's not like that big of a deal to say this, but I know from, I've never been in like a, an actual relationship, but I have like, <laughs> but I have like, you know, been on dates um, more than one with the same person and things like that. And the things didn't work out. And I always, in the beginning, felt as though I did something wrong. I never once thought the it was the other person's choice to just be like, you know what, we don't really match or um, or anything like that. Like, I didn't think outside of myself and what I could have done to make things work, how I could have changed to make him like me more or something like that. I always thought that way, which is, again, why I was so scared because I was I feared that I was going to end up seeing myself in deep D and I did not want to do that because I am working on myself and I am nowhere near her level of like self-confidence but I one day hope to be um but I I was you know I am aware enough of the fact that this is now how I define um relationships in general not just romantic ones but like friendships as well like I didn't fail to be somebody's friend someone didn't fail to be my friend our relationship our connection simply didn't need to continue any further than what it did and that's it <laughs> you know like that's that's kind of it like they were simply meant to be there for the time that they were and that was all however there are some factors that i kind of want to talk about for like in in a bit more detail so shake from the beginning showed that he has a superficial side it is his most um forward <laughs> his it's his most presented personality trait throughout the show um we all kind of saw that if you did watch the show um and he wants someone who looks a specific way he wants somebody who makes him feel a specific way sexually <laughs> um and that is fine but he came on a show called love is blind yeah i get that but he was also cast by producers of a show called love is blind from the producers perspective and from the people running this experiments perspective having someone who has very specific tendencies towards super towards a superficial um perspective that was a lot of words to make myself sound smart because i didn't really know what i was saying but <laughs> i hope you guys understood like having him on the show and if he had ended up marrying someone and somewhat changed his perspective on the on the like superficial level of whether or not um looks really matter to him or whether or not having this animal like sexual urge towards someone really mattered then it would have proven the producers and the people running the experiment correct in saying that love is blind so um so just to like say that you know the producers did have an incentive <coughs> the producers did have an incentive to accept someone who mm -hmm. is superficial into the experiment also the phrase blinded by love isn't meant to be entirely in the literal sense of not looking at someone's appearance and this is actually the point where i had my biggest like question come up and this is what i'll be talking about throughout most of this video it is used 
to also describe moments when people ignore characteristics in someone's personality because they know hold this person on a pedestal on a pedestal so they can do no wrong um essentially they are blinded to red flags as they are commonly known now so this red flag that he presented on his first dates for some was an absolute boundary like he talked about questions or he asked questions that made women feel uncomfortable and from there a lot of contestants i would assume were just like absolutely not this is a a huge red flag that even love cannot blind for me right for others this was an opportunity to look past what may have been an example of the use of assholery to cover up an insecurity and really get to know this person for who he is and i feel like that was expressed in some of deep d's um commentary throughout the show um specifically when they were like in the pods in this train of thought i would argue that deep d getting to really know shake after his first very poor impression uh speaks to the more figurative meaning of the phrase love is blind or blinded by love in a perfect world her ignoring this trait and then them actually getting to know each other and him actually working on the parts of their relationship that were weak points would have been the ideal showing that love is blind or having a very strong communicative foundation between you and your partner is how you work through things together and you know you can get married even though maybe you had a very poor first impression of each other or maybe they don't have any of the physical characteristics that you normally go for in a person right so um now that's kind of all i'm gonna say about shake because that's really all i <laughs> i can say at this point um but for deep d <coughs> When she accepted Shake's proposal, uh, I was worried <laughs> that this would be, like I said before, another I can fix him type of storyline in which, you know, she would ignore that primary first, flat, first red flag and get to know him and say, you know, oh, he's like actually this really blah, blah, blah kind of person. Um, he has an amazing personality. He makes me laugh, whatever, whatever, you know etc and then slowly we would start to see her kind of maybe change the way she did her makeup maybe ooh, <laughs> maybe change the way she did her makeup or um change the way that she dressed or um talked or you know saw her kind of i'm using this very like strongly because I feel like this does happen quite a bit in these situations, especially like movies do this, not movies, especially movies do this a lot where she would essentially throw herself at him to get his attention instead of making it his problem because it is his problem, if I'm being completely honest. Um, like it is both of their problems, but because he never really talked about it um, or attempted to work on it with her it was his problem and i was so proud of her not that she you know needs my praise um for being so secure in herself because it wasn't because if she wasn't i don't think she would have been able to give shake the chance to be a great man for her or to her uh without compromising herself in the process and by compromising herself i mean what i said before like changing the way that she looks or dresses trying to um get his attention rather than you know support him in his 
you know, or support him and try to be there for him when he wants to communicate the issues that he feels he's having or try to work on those with her, you know. Um, at the end, her mother mentioned how proud she was of Deep D because she knows how caring she is for others because her mom knows how caring Deep D is of others and how Deep D stood up for herself as someone who doesn't ask for a lot and she really was not asking for a lot. She was simply asking for someone who wanted her for her, um, <laughs> which is essentially what the whole show is about, right? So. I would love for like other women, including myself, to be a little bit more like Deep D um, when she made this decision to say no to him that, you know, settling for less in one area of relationship just because all the other areas in the relationship are so good isn't necessary, isn't really what any of us should be doing. Um, and I think that was like a very clear message that I hoped myself <laughs> can like, like that I hope I myself can remember and I hope that other women can remember. Like, yes, all the other areas of the relationship are great, except for this one area. It's okay for you to need to work on one specific area of your relationship but if your partner is not willing to communicate and compromise with you and work on that with you and they make it your problem um especially if it's not <laughs> like in this situation she was attracted to shake he was not attracted to her there are some women who would have taken that upon them who would have taken that burden onto themselves and said I am not attracted rather than he is not attracted to me there's always going to be something that you need to work on and if your partner is willing and ready to push something that isn't actually your fault <laughs> your your fault or your responsibility to um, look for a way to solve onto you that's probably not the person you should be with. Um, and I'm just hoping that I can remember that myself. You know, if, let me know if you've ever been, if you're willing to share, if you've ever been in a relationship where you're like, wait, I'm not the one <laughs> that's, that has the issue here. It's, it's the other person. So at the end of everything, I just came out of my whole like thought bubble brainstorm thinking I would love for myself and others to be a little bit more like deep tea a little bit more like deep tea and not um compromise ourselves for the sake of giving someone a chance because you can definitely give someone a chance without you know losing self-confidence or um losing security in knowing who you are because uh, it it takes so long to to have that kind of you know mentality about yourself that it sucks when you let that go for the sake of giving someone a chance and or being a better person for someone else so yeah um that's kind of all i have to say i don't know who that's kind of all i have to say i don't know how to end this video so i'm just gonna say goodbye um and good luck <laughs> um i will see you guys in my next video please like comment subscribe and yeah if you guys have uh suggestions of stuff that you would like to see or want to talk about um anything on netflix is fair game <laughs> then please let me know and and i will try to 
watch what interests me and comment on the things that I feel I need to comment on. So, bye!